Well, after being in the center of the sports world, Cleveland becomes the center of the celestial world. We are about 16 hours away from the total solar eclipse with the best views here in Northeast Ohio, weather permitting, fingers crossed. State officials expect as many as a half million visitors to stream into Ohio for totality that hits at 3.13 p.m. Lydia Spar joins us now with all the excitement from the total eclipse fest at Great Lakes Science Center that have been going on all weekend. Hey, Lydia. Hey, Lena. It was a fabulous weekend. We had sunny skies, blue skies, everything that you would want for the solar eclipse. Will we have it tomorrow? I don't know. I just know there's going to be a spectacular show in the sky. Oh, you got to go over here. Look up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow, is that cool? Cool to see the sun through eclipse glasses. It's nothing until you see this. I think it'll be fantastic. It'll be Not fun. Not to mention we're making history. History will be made Monday, April 8th, right here in Cleveland. The solar eclipse will be less than four minutes in totality. And you're just going to turn the fan on and place it directly over. At the Great Lakes Science Center, together with NASA. See, and it creates electricity. They want people to look at science as exciting and outer space can be out of sight. Ignacio Cecine's family is from Argentina. What did you learn over here at the Science Center? Uh, I learned that in that it's, it's harder to be an astronaut than what you think it is. So it's actually pretty hard to be an astronaut. Cleveland has made it easy for you to be part of that experience of the solar eclipse handing out classes and advising you how to be safe. This mom is from Tennessee. It's warmer, but Cleveland's just so lit. And this was just such a good, amazing event. But the event is yet to come. We're pretty excited. We've never seen a, a total event before. So grab your glasses, find your spot, and be prepared for an experience out of this world. It's pretty interesting. It makes me want to tap more into science. <laughs> Mission accomplished. A lot of people are really loving the science, uh, sciences, I should say, right now. All right, I have a little piece of advice for you. So when the solar eclipse happens, as I said, it's going to be less than four minutes, but the temperature is going to drop 10 to 15 degrees, that is, according to NASA. So it's probably better if you just dress in layers. And Lena, if you don't and you have a wind off the lake, mm -hmm. it is going to be cold yeah. for that four minutes and leading up to it. So... I like to do that, especially if you have kids, some yeah. gloves, maybe some hats. That way you're kind of prepared to really enjoy the moment. All right, Auntie Lydia, we appreciate the advice for sure. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> and we do.